Laat je niks losstaan.
Make your day play Like this you cabaret Oh chum Come to the cabaret Put down your knitting The book and the broom It's time for a holiday Life is a cabaret Oh chum Come to the cabaret Come taste the wine and hear the band Come sound your horn, start celebrating By this way your table's waiting No use permitting a prophet of doom To take on...
no, no, no. Definitely not. And that's a straight from the back wheel on this one. It did get a bit soft, I should imagine. That was smooth. Yeah. 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 You go, you see. Can be done. And there's the Aveling and Porter, which is known as Churchill. Lovely Stanley steam car just pulled up in front. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? King of the Mountains, it's called it. It's a like shower bank. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's um, yeah. You, you know they have these, um, what do they call them these days? Yeah? I love that one. Dave, that's brilliant. Anyway, another yep. of the Marshall Road rollers coming off. This is the Marshall S type. Now, towards the end of production, Marshall turned out these rollers. They were the first people to actually manufacture traction engines or road rollers with interchangeable components. They were all machined to a tolerance and uh, you could actually interchange components on, on the rollers. Uh, up till then everything was made to fit by hand. And uh, this particular roller is still owned by Devon County Council, although it's on loan to the people who are running it for us this weekend. Yeah, that's the Chilter, Chilter and Marshall Preservation Group that are uh, looking after it. 1930, you say. Right. The first of the Wallace and Stevens advanced road rollers coming along now. Uh, the conventional form of the road roller wasn't much, and also the weight is equally distributed between the front and the rear rolls by having it carried in belly tanks. So it was, we're not quite sure what she may, but, um, or may not, but, or may not, as the case may be. <laughs> Like that, lovely name, isn't it? Interesting with a canopy on that one, it's almost, uh, it almost looks too big for it, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I suspect that's not an original Aveling canopy, it's probably put on by the people who had the engine. Scarifier, a bow roughy scarifier. And um, the clever thing about this particular scarifier is it could work in either direction. Now the scarifier was uh, a set of metal tines that you stuck down into the weight nicely. Work in other directions. I see there's a, a worm in wheel and a mechanism there for That's right. raising and lowering. It's not a you know, you have to do that done. Oh yeah, I, I think, think you had to scrape up the road surface and then they'd even it all out, chuck a bit more tar in, in the current colours of Surrey County Council. He's uh, actually built in 1912, one of the ones that was sold to Edison's at Thornton. No, that's new one to me. I believe it was a chain or a train oh, engine. Oh, no, no, uh, a tram engine. Could have been, it was something they I don't built, think they, they built uh, virtually a railway version of their traction engine to run on railway lines. Really? Oh. Ah, I think I know what you're on about. They found the bits of an engine down the, down the uh, mine shaft. That's right, yeah. Yes. So there's an engine in front there, that little marshal, which I was only thinking about as I came to Castle Kerry the other night. I thought, I haven't seen Dobbin roaring out with his engine, 40, and lo and behold, there she is. Yeah, that's a Marshall Universal Roller. Again, this was designed for uh, rolling car macadam. This is Marshall's idea of what a roller should be. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I would rather see it, my own opinion, I'd rather see it more as a tractor. Well, it's uh, one of those things. And here's a marshal, he's doing a lap of honour, this one, that he's been around before. <laughs> well, I must say, David, for a first day, because the time's going on nearly 25 or nearly half, it's going to be half past four. The first day has been how would you describe it?
Mais um. Squat with Mr. Sheen. I know you, Bill. Don't get up till late. So keep your hand forward. I would like to thank you. I hope you enjoyed And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. These brasses. And they obviously had to work very hard. Money didn't stretch any further than it does today. And uh, to save up a few extra shillings to be able to put them back into place, because quite often uh, a man will be working with horse on his own. Um, we have grooms. To
Rediscovered in the late 1950s, in May, up until May 1915, when of course the Great War um, called a halt to car production. But in more car number 15 now, and uh, this is Peter Miller from Blanford, who's done this car for many years. He's taken it to France several times. Notice the luggage container on the on the rack at the back. Of course, in 1920. <laughs>
Fair Choir. To all the stall holders, market traders, and scrap metal men we have here at the Great Dorset Steam Fair 2003. Market traders will be buying up scrap so they can take it to South Down. Diddy coins loading lorries with crap so they can flog it at South Down. Generators, alternators, lots of rusty iron Hoping that the Joeys will be in the mood for buying crap Take it or leave it, your money they'll spend What isn't sold will be dumped at the end of South Public they tricked, taking back home all the stuff that they get from South Down and Tarantinton it's South Down. We got 16 fair at South Down, formerly known as Stalpy. South Down and Tarantinton it's South Down. We got 16 fair at
It's the show that we need last For his chat lines are so boring Like having six old ladies shoving needles up your ass And when the Wogan show is over And it's time for you to go You know there's loads of time for wanking Before the next Terry Wogan show Yes, there's lights of time for wanking Before the next Terry Wogan show Postman Pat, Postman Pat ran over his cat Blood and guts went flying Postman Pat was crying Ever seen a fatter cat than that? Drink and drive, drink and drive, you should thank God you're alive. Tell a load of farmers when you pulled up by the carpers. Postman Pat, a very naughty man. Don't you think it shows your bright red nose? Everyone can see that you've been losing Sunday. You can well be sure you'll be stopped. Had up by the law, had up by the law. All right, here we go. Sing along, all together now. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat ran over his cat. Blood and guts went flying. Postman Pat was crying. Never seen a flatter cat than that. This is what the policeman said. Pardon me, sir. You make too much. You should not drive when you've been indulging someday. You can well be sure there'll be knock, ring, summons through your door. Summons through your door. All right, here we go. Sing along. All together now. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat ran over his cat. Blood and guts went flying. Postman Pat was crying. Ever seen a flatter cat than that? Drink and drive, drink and drive. You should thank God you're alive. Tell a load of farmers when you pulled up by the coppers. Postman Pat, a very naughty man. Child labour. To set them down the coal mines and up chimneys. Now we get them to bag sticks. Till the glen came the Calvin's men with their shovels slung behind them. It was in the pub where they drank their sun. For two, not the spike, you'll find them. They sweat in blood and they washed in mud with ports and pints of fear. And now we're on the road again with the Cowboys Fusiliers. We stripped to the skin with the dark. Down on the Isle of Grain With horse face to run I learned the rule No money if you stop for rain For McCallum Point's God is a well-filled heart And shoulders worn and seared And woe to he who looks to tea With McCallum Point's and What the rich call pears. I'm a navvy, short was his one retort, which reached unto my ear. When the going gets rough, I must be tough with my Catherine's fusiliers. Russian, Czech and Pole Shutter in 
rams in the hydro dams are underneath the tents in the hole. I worked real hard and I got me cards and many priced with my pantheons of news and ears. Nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, 
What can the matter reach in? Our ladies got locked in the lavatory. They were there from Monday to Saturday. Nobody knew they were there. The last to go in was old Mrs. Brewster. Now she could not see just as well as she used to. She sat on the handle and swore someone boost her and nobody knew she was there. And it's so dear, what can the matter be said? Our ladies got locked in the lavatory. They were there from Monday to Saturday. No, nobody knew they When the services were told that they should start recruiting queers, it did not fit the image of the British Grenadiers. Soon 20,000 vendors joined the ranks of volunteers to form the right Royal Regiment of Brothers. He mixed into the officer's mess with an independent air. He was the campus commandant to ever take the chair. He said, now listen, lovies, I've got something to declare. We're the right royal regiment of brothers. As they march around the parade ground, you can see that they are gay. The finest fighting fairy force to be on army pay. You can tell them at a distance, first they wear the pink beret. They're the right royal regiment of brothers. <laughs> Beneath the double fairy, they will march about with pride. A Barbie dollars mascot and their motto, run and hide. And they all salute Prince Edward's flag before they go inside. They're the right royal regiment of brothers. Is there a doctor in the house? When it comes to medical, be sure that there's a queue. They love to get their tatters out. They all enjoy the view. They'll never use a bayonet when a tickling stick will do. They're the right Royal Regiment of Crofters. <laughs> but they don't enjoy the company of their military peers. Shun by the regiments like the Royal Fusiliers. But they get on well with sailors who've been that way for years. They're the right Royal Regiment of Crofters. Special combat training is the very queerest kind. They slap each other on the wrists and say they do not mind. But if you drop your guard, they will attack you from behind. They're the right Royal Regiment of Brothers. Planting pansies round the card room so that everyone can see. And the smell inside the barracks is a floral potpourri. And the queen that they would die for is one Freddie Mercury. Down the heart, Royal Regiment of Brothers. He pounces round the guard room so that everyone can see. And inside the barracks is a flip purple And the queen that they would die for is Freddie Mercury! Cos they're the right royal regiment of brothers. Cos they're the right royal regiment of brothers.
Christmas for him. Oh, and eat and say it's not hollow. Well, it's where he would rather be. Hey, hey, hey. 
daughter of the heart And the hairs on her neck he died Now hang them to her knees And the hair And the hairs And the hair white one And one with a bit of shite on The hairs on her neck he died Now hang them to her knees An Italian who had bones like a puppy stallion, and the hairs on her neck he died. Oh, hang them to her knees. She married Perry Como, but he was a fucking homo, and the hairs on her neck he died. Oh, hang them to her knees. And the hairs, and the hairs, and the hairs, they hung them to her knees. One black one, one white one, and one with a bit of shite on. The hairs on her neck he died, oh, hang them to her knees. If she was my daughter, I'd have them cut shorter, cause the hairs on her neck he died, oh, hang them to her knees. Cause when she starts up farting, it causes a parting. And the hairs on her neck he died, oh, hang them to her knees. And the She had tits like a barrel organ And the hairs on her neck he died I'll hang them to her knees She went down to Redding With a You can put your head in And the hairs on her neck he died I'll hang them to her knees And the hairs And the hairs And the hairs They hung them to knees One black one, one white one And one with a big shite on The hairs on her neck he died And the heirs on her dicky died of hang down to her knees. One black one, one white one, and one with a bit of shite on. The hairs on her dicky died of hang down to her knees. Hang down to her knees. One black one, one white one. What's he doing, lad? And he's greeting his friend, learned a traditional Arab greeting there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, will you please, for our next delegate, Yasser Fat Arab! <laughs> but no peace conference would be complete without the stuff. party down in Tajikistan It's gonna be a drama if it all goes to plan The boys are all arriving at every port and base Waiting for the birthday boy to show his face They got a lot of presents to give to this man Some they open with a pop and others with a bang So wave your flags and banners and don't forget to sing As soon as we've found him the party can begin where has the bastard gone? Where has the bastard gone? We thought we'd find him in Afghanistan Playing with his buddies, the Taliban No 
matter where he's gone, he won't be there for long. He's a summer bin laden, hiding in your garden. Where has the bastard gone? A lot of presents to give to this man Some may open with a pop and others with a bang So wave your flags and banners and don't forget to sing As soon as we found him, the party can begin So, where has the bastard gone? Where has the bastard gone? We thought we'd find him in a Playing with his buddies, the Taliban No matter where he's gone He won't be there for long It's a son of Bin Laden Hiding in the garden Where has the bastard? Where has the bastard? Where has the bastard gone? That. We'll sing together. Daylight rain and we hope your home. Now let's do it even louder. The song is a little bit deaf, you know. Daylight rain and we hope your home. There's going to be a party down in Tajikistan. It's gonna be a brother if it all goes to plan. The boys are all arriving at every port and place. Waiting for the birthday boy to show his face. They got a lot of presents to give you this man. Some may open with a pop and others with a bang. So wave your flags and banners and don't forget to sing. As soon as we've found him, the party can be. Oh, 
down now. I can't really hear anyone getting in the swing of this. We've nearly got to the end of it, so chuck a few words in. Come on. <laughs>
apple tree. She like a big No, that's entirely up to you. It's not even the 60 quid. You can have 35 pound off our regular money. Last one, yours or mine. 50 quid if you want him. How much did you want to pay? Can't be done, I'm sorry sir, but good bid. Would it be like that one for 50 pounds? That's where we can... Mr. Aper, you won't buy better. Not unless you have the Majesty's Kiss card. Hey, Dad, thank you very much. <laughs>
stage, ladies and gentlemen, the Ringwood Pipe Band. Now we've got just a few minutes before our final show for you this afternoon, our final show of the show. Uh, we're going to do a little medley for you. We're taking you back to the US of A for our final medley. So don't leave us, stay with us. We'll be with you in just 10 minutes' time for our final number. She's the sweetest little rose by Texas Avenue. Her eyes are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like a dew. Let me talk about your Clementine, sing your rose for me. But the yellow of the Texas is the only girl for me. Right on turn, are you ready? She's the sweetest little rose by
Rijdenbosje van Dover. En de douane in Dover.